Well, I believe this is part three to the video of uh, installing the fan shroud for the spout fans in the C3 Corvette. This is my 78 Corvette. Uh, I acquired it in 2006. And uh, no bolts or screws have been turned on this thing when I first got it. Everything that's been done has been done by me. The uh, engine has been pulled out. I resealed it. It's the original bottom end. It has about 60,000 miles on it. It's an L82. And uh, much to my surprise, I found out that uh, the L82, even in 1978, had forged steel crank, had forged pistons, had four bolt mains. The uh, cylinder heads had pushrod guide plates on it. It had uh, Chevrolet pink rods in it. So I was a little surprised that an L82 in 1978 was built like that. It's kind of built more like the 1970 LT1, which I think is where this motor actually came from. Uh, when I pulled it out, I didn't touch the bottom end. I just cleaned it up, put new seals in it, stopped it from leaking, uh, put uh, Edelbrock RPM heads on it with 202 160 valves. Uh, has the 64 cc chambers, which uh, with the flat tops I got and everything that I measured, uh, cc the heads and the, measured the deck height and all that, I came up to 9.8 to 1 compression ratio. Uh, I've got a torquer cam, which is about a 488 lift and about a 230 duration at 50 thousandths lift. I've got the Torker 2 single plane intake manifold on it. I've got uh, Headman headers that are ceramic coated, but uh, they're peeling a little bit, which makes me a little angry about that, but they work nice and they fit nice. It's got an X pipe. It's got two and a half inch duals all the way to the back. It's got um, Flowmaster uh, chambered mufflers on it. And this car was originally a four speed a uh, Borg Warner Super T10 car, and I've converted it to a, uh, a Tremec TKO 600 uh, five-speed transmission with a .64 overdrive gear ratio in it. Uh, I've been through it mechanically from front to rear. The car has a 411 rear end posi traction. Uh, I've got 17-inch wheels on it. It's got high-performance suspension all the way around. 17-inch uh, wheels, uh, got Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold, I'm sorry, uh, water pump on it, um, HEI distributor, aftermarket MSD distributor. Uh, anyway, uh, if you notice, I have the fan shroud in place. I drilled the holes through the radiator up at the top. There's a little rail here to match up with the holes that I drilled on the shroud itself. I bolted it in five places with the hardware that was uh, provided with the fan shroud. I also found a couple places down on the bottom. Uh, it slides in basically and it stays put between the radiator and the radiator support. But I found two holes in the radiator support and I just went ahead and put two small holes in the bottom of the shroud and put two screws in it down there as well. You know, I don't really think it's going anywhere. Uh, on both sides, uh, Jegs provided a rubber seal to go on the side of the fan shroud, which I installed here. It makes a nice seal between the fan shroud and the, and the core there. This car originally came with a two row radiator, and this is just a copper brass three row radiator. Uh, it stays cool, there's no problem with it running hot or anything like that. I just wanted to get the, the fan in there and have it, have it a little looking a little better and actually attach the radiator a little better as well. Uh, so that concludes this video and uh, I think on the fourth video I'll show with the actual fan installed because it's difficult for me to do the camera and install the thing at the same time but uh, then maybe I can take the camera and show you up close and what it looks like and and hopefully if you ever attempt to do one of these yourself and you can use my design and it works out for you, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching.